Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got involved in the disability community. Hi, um, I'm going to introduce myself with a self description to be inclusive of people who are blind, partially sighted, and neurodivergent. This is a verbal description of my physical appearance and identity to give these individuals critical context to mentally visualize me. Here it goes. My name is Sina Patakal. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. I'm a blind Indian woman with long black hair, brown eyes, medium brown skin. I'm wearing a black blazer and a red blouse with silver jewelry. I'm joining you from my home office in New Jersey. And you had asked me earlier how I got involved with the disability community. As I mentioned in my self-description, I'm blind. I became blind when I was 16. And as a result, I became aware of the disabled experience. And I was studying public relations as an undergrad and then graduate school. And I realized I could use public relations as a vehicle to make the world more inclusive. I took classes in community relations and government affairs. And then I went to Washington DC to lobby with a blind organization for accessible instructional materials in higher education, as well as the Marrakesh, uh, Marrakesh Treaty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's cool. So like, what are some of the things that you're doing in the disability community? You know, like I understand that you work in accessible communications and disability inclusion. So if you could talk about that, that would be great. Absolutely. So I joined Current Global. It's a medium-sized PR agency to champion accessible by design. It is the company's client offering and commitment that we will make every piece of content we create, curate, and publish accessible to audience of all abilities, especially those with sight, speech, hearing, and cognitive disabilities. And since I joined this team, I started writing, I worked with the team to create our accessible communications guidelines, and I was able to leverage insights from my graduate thesis into these guidelines. And I've worked with my coworkers. We've presented to several thought leadership organizations to educate them about the importance of disability inclusion and accessible communications. And something that I'm really proud of is that me and my coworker, we created this in-depth, comprehensive, hands-on training to teach communicators how to make their content accessible. And this training was featured in a train magazine called PR Week recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's awesome. So my next question here is, you know, what are some of the things that you look for when figuring out if something is accessible or not, or not based on your area of expertise? You know, like, how do you make things accessible for people with a wide range of disabilities, not just those who are blind? Oh, absolutely. So, for example, if we're working with social media, um, there are a few basic things to look into. First, we need to assess whether the language we're using is clear, concise, and readable. We need to assess whether we are using print that can be read. Um, and so that's one thing. Second is including images that are easy to, easy to see what the important information is. And for those who are blind so that we can access the visual information, it's important to include alternative text. And so that's something we do for clients. We help them create that content and then for the social media posts, we include camel case hashtags to make it easier for people to read. So that's one thing just based on social media content. But videos, it's a different story. We need subtitle, we need to make sure it has subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, an audio description for the blind and visually impaired. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more that we do and that we can do as communicators. 
we're providing counsel about how to make content accessible and disability inclusive for clients. And there's work in the pipeline that I'm excited about, but can't discuss at the moment, but I'm glad to see the needle moving forward and to be part of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. So my next question here is what impact does accessible communications and disability inclusion have on the disability community and just the community as a whole? Okay. Yeah, so when we create disability inclusive content that has visual representation of people with disabilities, it's great, it's important, it's essential for the community to see us interacting with people and products and seeing that we move through the world and make a positive impact in our communities, in our families, in our friend groups and workplaces. And it's important for people with disabilities to see themselves represented because when we create this content, we tell them that we see you, we recognize your value and we want to include you. Mm -hmm. And also when we create content that is accessible, that people with disabilities can consume the content, it gives this community the ability to participate in the conversation to share their thoughts and opinions and demonstrate to com the community and employers that we have something to say, that we have recommendations that can make things better, that we have ways of doing things to add value to their organizations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Finally, um, how can accessible communications and disability inclusion remove the barriers that people with disabilities so often face? You know, how can uh, how can we sort of help those people, you know, have a seat at the table, so to speak? So through accessible communications, as I was saying earlier, if it is accessible, um, we can be a part of the conversations, for example, if LinkedIn is accessible, if the content is available in a way that we can participate in the conversation, that removes the barrier, one of the barriers. It creates a platform for us to speak our mind and to demonstrate that we are deserving of a place at the table and capable of contributing to these organizations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that 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 I think is important. 